Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da Habata fillah continuing on in our discussion about patience sabr and we are reflecting upon the second category of patience that the Sheikh mentioned, which is sabr ala ma'asiyatillah, patience with regards to disobedience to Allah, meaning that it requires patience to refrain from being disobedient to Allah, tabarak wa ta'ala. And the first category we mentioned that it's patience with regards to ta'atillah, that it's patience regarding uh, being obedient, you know, obeying the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is patience regarding refraining from disobedience. And both of those, when we look at those, ty- those two categories of patience, they make up the concept of taqwa that the salaf used to discuss. Taqwa Allah bi awamirillah wa tarq ma'asiyatillah that patience which we're ordered to do during this holy month of Ramadan is adhering to the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoiding his prohibitions that's taqwa so here the second category of patience is sabr ala ma'asiyatillah patience in refraining from disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala قَدْ تُدَافَعْ إِنْسَانَ نَفْسُهُ إِلَى بَعْدَ الْمَعَاسِيَ الَّتِي تُحِبُّهَا وَتُمِيلَ إِلَيْهَا فِيدَ حَبَسَ نَفْسُهُ فَإِنَّهُ قَدْ صَبَرْهَا فَإِذَا دَعْتَهَا نَفْسُهُ أَوْ حَوَلَتْ أَنْ تُشُكُهُ إِلَى السِّمَاعَ الْأَغَانِ وَنَحْوِهَا فَحَبَسَ النَّفْسُهُ عُدِّ صَابِرًا وَإِذَا تَمَنَّيْتْ أو تَمَنَّتْ نَفْسُهُ أَنْ تَطَّلِعَ إِلَى الْعَوْرَاتِ أو إِلَى النِّسَاءِ الْمُتَبَرِّجَاتِ وَنَحْوِهُنَّ وَلَكِنَّهُ صَبْرَ نَفْسُهُ وَمَنْعَهَا فَعُدَّ مِنَ الصَّابِرِينَ وَكَذَلِكَ إِذَا تَمَنَّتْ نَفْسُهُ وَحَوَلَتْ أن تدافعها أن تدافعه إلى محرم كالزنا والخمر والكبر وسارك وغير ذلك وتيسرت أسبابه ولكن منع نفسه وحبسها فإذا فعل ذلك عد من الصابرين. The Imam mentions here that patience with regards to Disobedience to Allah, meaning refraining from disobedience to Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala. That when a person refrains from some of the wicked sins that he's inclined to, that he loves, in fact, and that he is inclined to, and he restrains himself, then he has uh, attained this patience. He is showing, he's uh, illustrating this patience. And if he calls himself and he strives, for example, or he, he is called to and he leaves off uh, striving to listen to music, for example, and he refrains from doing it, then he is from the Sabirin. He is from those who are patient. And if he desires, you know, if his self, it inclines and it desires to look at um, nakedness, you know, look at the, 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 the pleasures of, of looking at the opposite sex at Karamakam Allah, or women that are dressed uh, that are undressed or dressed improperly. And other than this, however, he, he is patient 
and restrains himself, prohibits himself, then he has become one of the sabarin. He is one of the patient ones. And likewise, if his self inclines and desires to do the, the impermissible things, but he, uh, for example, zina, you know, uh, adultery or fornication, drinking alcohol, uh, or being arrogant, or stealing. And the means to do so is easy for him. But yet he prohibits himself and refrains from it. Then he has become one of the patient ones. So whenever a person becomes stronger than his or her desires and he allows his ability to restrain and refrain from those sins to overcome the the desire to sin then they have become one of the patient ones and he says وَهَذَا هُوَ الصَّبْرَ عَلَى مَعْسِي اللَّهِ مَعْسِي اللَّهِ فَهُوَ قَاهِرَ النَّفْسِ وَتَغْلَبْ عَلَيْهَا وَتَغْلَبْ عَلَيْهَا حَتَّى لَا تَقْعَى فِي هَذِهِ الْمَعَاسِي He said, and it is restraining oneself and overcoming those desires to prohibit, prohibit yourself from falling into that ma'asi, into that sinfulness, then this is what makes a person one of the patient ones. And we ask and beg Allah, the Almighty, to bless us to be of the sabareen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiyyana Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.